Aircraft are pretty common this day and age. There are tens of thousands of commercial aircraft that move people around the globe every day. How do their pilots know which way to go? If they're over land, they can simply look out the window and follow landmarks. But the problem gets significantly harder if they're flying at night or over water. Let's suppose that you want to pet some kangaroos and want to make the 8,000 mile flight from California to Sydney. How do you make sure you stay on track? You might use a compass, but some cockpits have magnetic fields that would cause your heading to stray by 10 degrees. If you're using just a compass, you might not find your destination. GPS is another option, but it might not be reliable enough for all applications. GPS signals can sometimes be jammed or destroyed altogether. You'd probably want a backup if you were flying over the Pacific. Most modern aircraft come with inertial navigation systems with high performance gyroscopes. To estimate how sensitive these rotation sensors have to be, we can imagine an aircraft moving along towards its destination but having some trajectory error along the way. Over time, the gyroscope will have some error which will build up to an angular misalignment error of theta. For a constant bias error in the measured rotation, let's call it delta omega, the trajectory error will grow quadratically. Solving for this bias error in our hypothetical trip to Australia, we measure that the bias error has to be less than 0.01 degrees per hour. This is extremely small rotation, equivalent to one revolution per four years. To measure small rotations, you need a small measuring stick, and that's where optics comes in. A fiber optic gyroscope consists of a coil of fiber. When you input light into it, half of the field goes clockwise and the other half goes counterclockwise. In the absence of rotation, both fields take the same amount of time to propagate. However, if we apply rotation to the coil while the fields are traveling through it, one of the fields will see a shorter path than the other one and will emerge first. This will cause a phase shift. The two fields will have seen a slightly different optical path length, delta L. This is related to a phase shift which is proportional to the rotation. The received power can be found by taking the total electric field and squaring it. With some basic trigonometry, we find that the power is related to the phase shift through a raised cosine. If we plot rotation on the x-axis and power on the y-axis, we'll see that as we change the rotation, we'll have power vary between a bright fringe and a dark fringe. When the gyro is rotating at very low speeds, the two fields will be very close to each other. For small changes in rotation, the power will change by a very small amount, giving us a poor sensitivity. On the other hand, if we can separate the fields by a bit more, we'll be operating at the highest slope of the raised cosine, giving us a very good sensitivity. The raised cosine has a maximum slope at pi over 2. This corresponds to a quarter wavelength shift between the counterpropagating fields. Let's revisit our diagram for the fiber optic gyro loop. This time, we're going to consider a phase modulator at both of the inputs to the coil. This phase modulator should slow down the light as it passes through it. In this example, the counterclockwise field has received a head start. At some point as they propagate, we change the modulation on the phase modulators so that the counterclockwise field again receives an advantage as it exits the coil. Together, this can give us the quarter wavelength shift that we need for maximum sensitivity. We've already covered the benefits for aviation, but there are other applications as well. In defense applications, GPS and radar are often jammed. High performance gyros help missiles to reach their targets with more reliability. Submarines also need navigation systems. Fiber optic gyroscopes with sensitivities of one revolution per century make it possible for submarines to stay submerged for weeks without having to surface for a GPS update. And as we begin a new era of space exploration to Mars and beyond, fiber optic gyros are expected to play a critical role in space navigation as the ultimate rotation sensor.